Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Calamity Canyon. I have re-geared, and I am back for the next assault on the end of Black Mesa Ruins, I think is the name of dungeon number four. And so I've got an instant health potion, I've got lots more bread and torches, I've got a fresh gold pickaxe, and so I think I have all the things that we would want. And to start things off, we had pacified kind of some of the entrance of this room over here, over here. Uh, but there was a downstairs area that I hadn't really pacified at all, and so I want to work on that to start things off for today. And it seems like it might actually be quiet. Just kind of wasted the gold pickaxe there a little bit, I suppose. Yeah, okay. So other than the skeleton spawner, there wasn't anything down on the bottom floor. That's fine. So let's continue moving upwards. And once I get about two levels higher, I think some various monsters will start spawning. I don't have any type of feather falling. And so if I take a fall, then that's just how it goes. The good news is I seem to be falling into a safe spot that doesn't have any monsters, and so it's likely that I would be able to recover my gear, I expect. Okay, so let's just start lighting things up. I'm not going to worry about the fact that that could be spawning a skeleton right now. Hey, buddy. Okay, you're gone. We'll break this. And is there still a level above me? I see. It goes this way now. Got it. While I have a little bit of free time, let's back up over here and do this. And also top off on our health once again. Okay. So let's try to run up here. And see what we're up to. Okay, that will actually get all of the zombies from the level above me, like, coming my way. Uh, and so let's go ahead and, whether they are natural spawns or spawning from spawners, let's just go ahead and deal with a few of the zombies down here where it's quieter. Well, <laughs> quieter in terms of fewer monsters and threats around. Not quieter from the point of view of now I have zombies on fire in my face. All right, one more and you should be gone. There we go. Great. So, still hear zombies spawning up there. Uh, that looks like a wool box, so that's exciting. And let's see, creeper spawner. Seems lit up. Let's go ahead and use the good pickaxe on it. And a couple of zombies, another creeper spawner. We'll do that too. And I'm kind of just starting to get a sense of where the blazes are, but I think there's too many bad guys in the room right now. Um, their things are mostly lit up. This blaze is going to be a threat until I hit him with enough arrows. Okay, great. And I think I can also take out some of the creepers from kind of across the cavern like this. Yeah, so I think that would be a good thing to do. And there's at least one more level above where I just was. All right, that's pretty good. And let's see, to speed things up, I can just send these guys over the edge and that will kill them. Yeah, I guess now I can just see, okay, and there's a blaze up there. Let's try to get rid of the blazes, definitely. That seems like it'll be profitable. How many arrows do I still have? 54. And somewhere there's a blaze trying to shoot me. Okay, let's just assume that any zombies that I knock down are going to fall far enough that we'll be in good shape. And if the blaze is fighting someone other than me, that could just mean he's adding light to the area above, which would be pretty good. Yeah, I'm, still, bleh, I'm sure there's still going to be some creepers up there. But I feel like we're in good enough shape that we can come back up here. Hey, buddy. And start trying to... I should have asked. Let's uh, use the creeper to our advantage. There we go. Um, it did not blow up the creeper spawner, unfortunately, and I'm still not sure where that blaze is. And I'm within range of the creeper spawner, and so I'm just going to be spawning another one, which is not so good. And the blaze spawner must be like just above me. Okay. Let's. 
continue to waste time so that we spawn as many blazes as possible. Crap! <laughs> I kind of deserve that. Um, Alright, well, I have a recovery kit. I fell... Hmm. How far did I fall? Oh, man. <laughs> There's a witch in this room. That's not what I needed to see. Um, let's just see... Yeah, I think I can defeat the witch. Oh, boy. Crap, and there was a health potion there, which I wouldn't mind having, but it's more important to get my stuff. Even though I know the way, it takes like three minutes to get here. Um, so I'm really worried about stuff despawning. Um, so let's try to go pick it all up. I don't see any other bad guys down there. Where's the way down? It's back over here. Okay, I think all of my stuff ought to be recoverable. Okay, I'm fairly certain I got everything back. Now I want to come back here and try to pick up the potion that the witch dropped. Assuming that it has not despawned. I do still see it over there. So I guess let's just run past the zombie and go grab it. Thank you. Okay, um, and so now I'm carrying kind of like the extra stuff that I wore over here. And so I'm going to put it in a chest and then we'll try to go back in that room. Okay, once more into the breach, and this time don't try to run past a creeper when you are near a ledge that is too far to fall. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I don't feel like I was doing too badly other than just kind of being slow. Um, Alright, and when there's a creeper in the way, I either need to... Yeah, I'll just let him explode. He can explode over in the corner, that's fine. I need to move swiftly. Let's use the good pick. There we go. I don't see any other monsters threatening me there. Okay, that was unfortunate that there happened to be a creeper there. There's a blaze spawner. Glad to have that out of the way. Creeper can fall down the hole. Yeah, I've got a much better handle on this room all of a sudden. Okay. Um, let's just explode you. Great. That took care of most of the bad guys, and the zombie, oops, there's a ledge there. I see, and there's a zombie spawner over here. Was that the only blaze spawner? Yeah, I think that's the wool, and yeah, other than one slightly harder section, like, this was actually still pretty straightforward, but that was kind of true of most of this dungeon, even if I did uh, end up getting killed by it. Like, it was pretty reasonable. It's the typical rooms and hallways kind of dungeon for the most part, with a lot of interesting kind of spiral vertical areas uh, interspersed as well. And I, I enjoyed this dungeon a lot, actually. Oh, there is another blaze spawner here. Well, now there won't be. Um, yeah, I had fun with this dungeon. And at the same time, I'm glad for it to be over because I haven't gotten to wool in quite a while. Uh, mostly because I've been enjoying just kind of exploring around the rest of the overworld. Um, but at the same time, like, this is a CTM map, there are objectives, and I am ready to get one of those objectives. And I guess at this point, we're just supposed to... I think I'll just go, like, straight up and over. Oh, and I have not... These are mushroom blocks, aren't they? Hadn't occurred to me, that's probably another way that you could get a food source by breaking some of those mushroom blocks, because I think they drop mushrooms. And this is completely random, <laughs> random observation or aside that popped into my head. And I don't think Render would put any more traps here. Like, by the time you've gotten here, you've kind of done the work of beating the room. Uh, and so I don't expect, you know, all of a sudden there to be a blaze spawner or something on top. Oops. Uh, but so long as we're here. <laughs> Take a quick look on top and see if there's anything. Nope, just a sea lantern. Okay, so I guess this is going to be the blue. Blue wool. I will take the fireworks and be happy about what we've accomplished today. Um, I kind of want that blue block, actually. It's a rare color block, and it's not like I'm doing any decorating, but I really like the, the blue color of these blocks, and so I'm going to grab a few so I have them at home in case I want to do any decorating. The party is over, Creeper. We've already finished this dungeon. And even though I just said we've already finished this dungeon, there still is one... I don't know if mystery is the right word, uh, but there's this hallway, which is certainly a trap, right? And so 
How can we expose said trap? I think I'm going to carve... Like, I would think that there's going to be, like, pistons somewhere or something that are going to make the floor go away. It could even be, like, command blocks, something. I don't know. Should I just run over here? Like, there isn't an obvious trap right here. Something is going to happen. Yeah, and if I lose everything I'm holding, uh, I'm okay with that. So... Looks like there's some sand back here. I don't hear any monsters in the walls. I still don't see anything that's gonna like fall out of the floor here. Um, for extra safety, I think I'll do that. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna try to grab whatever's in the chest and run. Or you know what? Let's Let's just break open the chest like this and run. It's gotta be a trap. Oh! Oh! Ladders! It's not a trap? Really? It's a shortcut? So I guess the idea is I break this, all the sand will fall down, and this is going to come back up probably like right under the monument or something. Um, it's going to come up somewhere. Ladders. Okay, I'm glad to finally have some ladders. Uh, I'm happy to still be naked to discover where this is going to come up. Because there are bad guys up here, and I still could get explodified or whatnot, and etc. Um, where am I? Uh, let's just take a look. Oh, I. Oh, there's the monument. Oh, there's the monument. It's a shortcut. Okay. Um. It's a little too close to some monsters right at the moment, and I am not wearing any armor at the moment. But I know where we are now, and that's actually convenient for getting home. Um, can I find... Yes, it was right here. And I don't think the creeper will be able to come down fast enough to be a threat. Okay, that's actually useful. So this is a shortcut, and it could have saved me time getting back here after the previous death. Um, and... Yeah, the trouble with CTM maps, I've talked about this before. Uh, this one didn't even have a sign to like suggest that it was a shortcut, and so when I, until I went over to investigate, like how would I know? But the trouble with CTM maps is you can't be sure what's a shortcut and what's a trap. Um, and so, yeah, map makers need like a safe word or something to say, this is really a shortcut, you could trust it, it is just here to make it so that you don't have to waste five minutes walking from place to place. And because without that, it's never a shortcut. It never saves you the time uh, because you're always playing like it might be a trap or you don't go in that direction because you don't even realize that there's going to be a shortcut there because you think it's a trap or whatever. And so, I don't know, philosophical debate about CTM maps uh, and shortcuts and leave your opinions and thoughts in the comments. Uh, but I'll communicate that to Render as well that... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> There's a problem there. In any case, somewhere in my shulker box, I believe I have a blue wool, and we need to place it on the monument. That's blue concrete, blue wool. Great. And so that should be number four, I believe. One, two, three, four, blue wool. Kablam! Challenge complete, one with the sky. And the little bells you hear there that sound like you're getting experience levels are just part of the music that plays whenever you get an advancement, I think. Um, yeah, I don't know. Minecraft is weird. Let me sort through my inventory and figure out what we'll do next. We still have lots of time left in the episode. The problem that I have right now is I have all of these books, and I can't use any of them because I don't have an anvil. There was another castle that looks something like this one over in the mesa. Um, and, or I guess it's actually that direction. And we got almost to the top of one of the towers, and there were lots of blazes and zombies, and I backed off. I want to go back over there and see what's on top of that tower, both to kind of just, like, finish conquering that area, and also because it seems like it might, might be the kind of place that you would hide either an anvil or some iron that I could use to make an anvil. So let's go check it out. So the aforementioned tower is right here. I've been up and kind of carved my way into the top, but there were lots of blazes and zombies spawning when I did. There's some more coal over there that I might want to grab at some point. And I don't think, I mean, there was no kind of staircase or anything inside of it. And so I think if there is something up there, I'm basically just going to have to tower up the same way I did last time. 
Okay, I hear blazes already. I found my way into the previous tunnel that I had dug. Let's just go into here. And see what we can see. Um, I hear the blazes. I'm not seeing them, though. And I'm not seeing the zombies, either. Are they, like, in the interior? Oh, crap! Uh, what's hitting me? Okay, it's a zombie. Okay, so a zombie found his way here somehow. I'm gonna let him kind of keep doing it. Where are the blazes right now? Are they on the other side of this thing? Are they on the very top? Uh, they're trying to fire at me, it sounds like. Okay. There's one. Uh, oh, crap! Oh, I almost just looked at that Enderman. Okay, I've spawned a bunch of blazes. I'm still not sure where they're coming from. I'm kind of unhappy with how this has gone. So I think I'm going to back off for a minute and try to kill off the blazes before moving back up there. And I think I pillared up from here, yeah. Okay, the blazes are firing at me, and they're actually just kind of lighting up a bit more of the landscape, so that's kind of okay with me for the moment. <laughs> they almost hit the zombie, that would've been cool. Alright, I should aim at the zombie periodically. I'm not sure if the blazes despawned or if they're just not visible up there. And maybe I should have just gone all the way to the top. Maybe there's a blaze spawner, like, at the very top, and I should have just pillared up a bit more. Let me try to see if I can witness if there's any more blazes up there. I was very near the top. I still don't know where this blaze spawner was. And it's still unclear to me, like, if there's even, like, a chest up there or some loot. Like, there's got to be something, right? Like, you wouldn't just put the blaze spawner up there just to, like, harass people who happen to go to the top if there's nothing up there, Right? Right? Ooh, there's a blaze spawner here. Gix. Okay. I was just trying to get another high vantage point uh, to try to look at what was on top, and it turns out there's another blaze spawner nearby. Right on top of that thing. Right, and there was like a room of food over there or something, too. I'd forgotten about that. So there's definitely more to explore over in this area. Oh, and I'm burning down the rest of that tree that I tried so hard to save the other day. Okay, well, great. Ugh. And I don't have any fire protection. Oh, boy. All right. Okay, you are dead. I think there's still one blaze. Let's try to hit him from afar. And we'll try to get up there and break the spawner with my gold pickaxe next time. There's the other blaze. All right. I think this pickaxe will be fast enough because this is just starting to spin up again. Right, so I didn't get a good look there to see... Oh, there's some kind of... Okay, there's something there where there's some light that I hadn't noticed before. And up here, there's like a random creeper who spawned up there. I still can't tell if there's anything on top up there. Gosh darn it. Oh, hey, coal blocks. I would failed to notice these before. Those are extremely welcome because I've spent too much time uh, mining normal coal ore on this map. And so I'm happy to have that. And you know what, creeper? If you blow up right there, you will actually explodify some more coal for me, perhaps. Yes, you did. All right, great. Well, that's a nice little side bonus. So yeah, I saw this food store here before, and I think it might simply be a store of food and not a trap. That's Creeper Spawner. It does not appear to have an observer under it or something silly like that. And this does just appear to be some extra food for me, so I appreciate that render. As we explore the map, we were able to replenish our supplies. Okay, so the original reason I was climbing up here was to see if I could get a better look at what's on top. So let's try that once more. Yeah, I might even have a better look if I go over to wherever this crazy light is coming from. So let's go check that out. Um, should I just pillar up right here, probably? Yeah, we'll pillar up a few blocks away and then bridge over, just in case there's a spawner. I think that sounds like a reasonable thing to do. Uh, let's first go over here and just add a little bit of light because I can't even see the terrain very well. Okay. Nothing is immediately spawning here, so let's do this. Okay, it doesn't seem too scary yet. So we'll do this. And what do we got? <gasps> Potion! Um... Potion brewing stuff, but we don't have access to water. Um, I could kill witches 
to get existing potions that I could then brew. It doesn't seem like this is a trap. Oh, goal reached. Alchemist. Okay. Um, I'm an alchemist who doesn't have any ingredients, and I don't have nether wart. Um, and I imagine this is also not going to be a trap. Hmm. I don't know. I'm having trouble reading some of these areas. Okay, speaking of witches, happens to be a witch right here. And so, oh gosh darn it. I wonder if I just use this, what are the chances I might kill her while she's drinking a fire resist potion? And she did drop a potion. I didn't get a chance to see what it was. I'm also almost dead. How much poison do I still have going? Okay, poison stopped. Oh no, poison only stopped because I still have 23 seconds of poison. Okay, let's just get to the monument and try to avoid running into any other bad guys. Okay, back at the monument, it was just a potion of instant health and somewhere along the way, Unbreaking too. that's a very lucky book to have stumbled across. Just healed back up on some zombie flesh, so let's put some things away. I'm back over here because I have a pressing need to understand if and what is going on with this place. A bunch of zombies are following me, uh, but I guess that doesn't really matter right now because I'm just going to pillar away. Okay, so we're going to get up to here, and then right here I need to pillar back up and in. Okay, and then I need to get back up on the roof. And then once I do, let's try to get to the highest point. Okay, I hear the blaze spawner. I, okay, gosh. Let's eat. Is he above me? Where is he? And where is the spawner? Um, it's such a dark brick, this nether brick. It's really hard for me to figure out. Okay, all the blazes are right there. They can't hit me through here just yet. I cannot figure out where the spawner is. Oh, it's here. Found it. And there's a chest over there. Okay, great. Now, okay, now I know what my goal is. Um, crap. Oh! <laughs> also, there's a hole. I did not go back down my original staircase. I went back down somewhere else and fell in the hole. All right. We are having, we're having a day. I want to notice when I do this, it does seem to pick up the items in the same order of the inventory. So I think if I put sword first, and that second, and that third, and that fourth in the chest, then whenever I break open the chest, all the items will just pop into the correct location in my inventory. And so I should do that next time I make the recovery chest, so that I can just break open the chest and put on my armor, and all of my hotbar slots will already be kind of in the correct order. So I need to remember to do that uh, for my next recovery chest try. I'm pretty sure I fell into a place that was not on fire, and so I do believe that, once again, I ought to be able to recover all of my stuff, provided that a monster hasn't spawned at the bottom of the pillar, because at the bottom of the pillar there was darkness, and so I should have lit it up uh, in anticipation of that being a possibility, but it just didn't occur to me. Okay, but I'll meet you guys back over there, we'll recover our stuff, and then we'll go see what's in the chest that the blazer are guarding. Alright, so objective number one, recover our stuff. How do things look? It looks reasonably safe down here. Oh, there's even a chest down here. Oh, crap. You've got to be kidding me. <sighs> I don't have a second recovery chest. Um, let's just put on some leather armor and grab one of these and one of these. Uh, I do have an extra shield, so I guess I'll grab that. I already have a chest on me. Um, I don't have extra bows and arrows convenient, but I do need some food, so let me grab that. So I guess, was there a block update? Like, I don't even understand what happened there. Uh, poop. And I'm not going to be, I'm going to need, like, this stuff to get back. This is, I might have just lost all that stuff now. I think, actually, let's get my old advanced infernizer, the level 1 one. And let's make some food. And I'm on a clock here. So let's get going if we have everything else we need. I don't have a bow and arrow, and that's just going to have to do it for me. I guess I do have arrows. I could make another bow, but I think we're on the clock too much. I'm not sure how far away that area is. So, ugh. I don't love it, but we're, we're trying to recover our stuff. I don't think I fell, like, 100 blocks down. Like, it felt like I only fell, like, 30 blocks down or something from the... 
bottom of the cavern. It was like next to where that chest was. The chest will probably still be floating there. And it could even be the case that not all of the blocks have updated. And so some of my stuff will still be on the original floor level. And some of my other stuff will have fallen all the way down to the bottom. Oh crap, and I just realized in my rush to come over here I didn't bring more torches. Uh, so let's go ahead and grab at least one torch. Oh no, there's a spawner right there. Oh gosh, okay. Um, is there any chance I'm going to be able to recover stuff now? There's a spawner there and I would heard a ghast. One could imagine that might be a gas spawner and it might be like the entrance to another dungeon or something crazy like that. Yeah, there's a gas spawning now. Um, poop. Oh, and there's a spawner right here also that apparently I never took out from previous thingies. Crap, I'm pretty sure I just lost all that stuff. Uh, hello. Okay, that was kind of fortunate, and I can see where I need to get to if I want to take out the gas spawner, so let's do that next, even though it's going to take time. Um, basically... Uh, is anyone sneaking up on me? No. Okay. Basically right down here? Yeah. So let's try this. Okay, we ought to be close. Yeah, I can see the spawner coming up. Okay, that is the gas spawner. Great, it's gone. And my stuff... Okay, there's the ghast. Uh, the ghast, I guess, doesn't see me yet. Yeah, because ghasts are not good at verticality. All right, at some point that will change. Um, hey, ghast. Uh, look up here and possibly kill me. Um, there we go. Cool. Okay, and now I'm going to try doing this. Is my sand falling somewhere? Yes, it is. And it is an entrance to a dungeon. Okay, and I might be able to ladder down. I might still be able to do this. I'm going to have to try a ladder drop because I'm really running low on time here, I think. Uh, so I need to try to... Okay, I'm still alive. And here's some of my stuff. Great. Uh, let's put down a torch so I can see some of what's going on. And there's a bow and there's a shield and there's some torches and there's my advanced infernizer and here's an ender chest. Okay. <laughs> I hear another ghast, which is not good. Um, let's get some light over here, and let's go try to recover some other items. Uh, temporary lights are fine. Uh, there's some other items. Great, and then I can run over to the ender chest. Okay, I might have just set some of my items on fire. All in all, though, this was exciting and reasonably successful. Which I gotta say was not expected. Crap! Crap, 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 crap. It might not be successful. <laughs> Uh, let's eat some food. Okay. Ate a little bit of food. I hear the spider. Uh, oh, and here comes a baby zombie. Crap, crap. Okay, let's do this. One, two, three. Okay, if the spider comes and gets me, I'm in trouble. He does. Spider's having trouble for whatever reason, because he's pushing against all the bad guys, right? Okay, spider. Don't get me. Okay, spider died. I think I can live through this. <laughs> okay, this was not at all what I expected to be doing today. Uh, but here we are. And that was a pretty fun and exciting entrance. And I think I actually... Oh, I'm using the wrong equipment right now. I should switch to this. And the ghast right now, wherever he is, doesn't seem to be a threat. And so I'm happy about that. Um, I need to get some more of my hotbar sorted, and then we need to try to get as much stuff into the ender chest as we can very quickly, because I'm still not sure that I have any kind of safe way out of here. I guess I can try to ladder back up the way I came down. Can do one more like this, because we're still two blocks up. Okay. I don't know where the gas is. We're going to run over to the ender chest and just start dropping off a few higher value items. And then I'm pretty sure it's been enough time that I won't be able to recover anything else that's down here, but I am going to go run around very quickly, uh, add some light, because it seems like this might actually be like a dungeon entrance. Um, all right. And oops, crap. Hey, go away. <laughs> okay, and then where is my... Okay, my sand came down there, so I need to... Find a way to get some ladders back up there. Man, look at this. And there's like a giant library down here. And I haven't even read the sign to see what the sign says. 
is like the name of this entrance, but for right now I'm still just, uh, I was going to say 100%, but it's more like, oh crap, 90% concentrated on just getting back out of here alive. So I guess there's just still some dark spots above me where monsters can spawn, I suppose. Okay, so let's um, let's do this. There we go, and then let's do this. And let's do this. Oh, there is my laddery bit. Okay, here's where I originally kind of fell down, I suppose. And so I can get over here now. And so let me see if I can make a ladder up. Uh, before I do so, let's add a little bit of light that way. I see there's kind of a ledge. Oh, there's like a second floor in this place. I'm not sure if a ghast might start destroying my ladder if I fly up. Um, if I hear a gas fireball, I'm just going to jump back down. That is my new policy. And if I don't, then we're going to try to go all the way back up and get out of here. I'm sure I still lost some equipment, but I got the advanced infernizer and probably got some other stuff uh, that I'll be happy to have recovered. And... There is that chest, which I'm actually, since we're here, <laughs> I'm really curious about it. And obviously, the trap that it would have set off has effectively already been set at this point. Yeah, and there's our way out. So what was in here? Some random stuff, but the bow and arrow is kind of nice. Uh, the mushroom stew I don't really need. It was a trap chest, so it would update the sand. Got it. And yeah, this is actually kind of a reasonable way to make a staircase back out of here. Okay, I am going to go get inventory sorted again, and that'll probably be enough for today because I'll also have to go to the doctor and get a prescription for heart medication. What an adventure! It looks like I actually managed to recover almost all of my things. In any case, I didn't manage to accomplish my objective, which is to see what was in the chest the blaze were guarding on top of the tower, but that'll have to wait for next time. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again soon with more Calamity Canyon. Bye-bye.